My daughter's moody, so when the when the mood strikes, she's like, "I am a fucking sovereign citizen. Your <laughs> rules do not <laughs> have it hold any water over me." Okay, <laughs> like you know what I'm saying? Then she acts just like that. She'll throw herself on the floor, throw a tantrum, all that type of shit. And how you navigate that tantrum is important. Like we've done the let her sit there kicking and crying until she gets over it didn't work really well we've done the super discipline and blah blah. and there's a balance like you need to be strong in what they're allowed to do and what they're not allowed to do and follow through on that and then when they're very upset kids can't control their emotions you gotta let them do it no 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 no. don't let them do it i'm saying like you need to get down to their level talk to them very kindly get them to relax and and just explain to them like look we're not gonna do this we could do other things but this thing we're not gonna do Yo, I do think, though, do you think it's wrong for you guys to discipline your significant other's kid? So you didn't talk to somebody about this? Man? No, I didn't. Not, not this time. <laughs> I'm asking you guys a legit question. This is such a wild topic to me. Discipline <laughs> in what way? Um, Whether it's spankings or just saying, like, yo, or just not yelling at them, just like, you know, talking to them like, hey, you're fucking up. Like, what the fuck's going on? This and that. You're going time out. Whatever the case is. But just, you know, disciplining them. And it doesn't have to be a super ass beating or whatever. Just, I know you guys might be like, oh, I can't put hands on a kid. It's not mine. If he lives with you and you ra- and you raising this next. Uh, you know what? D- does age play a factor in this as well? I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't believe in spanking. I don't think that hitting kids is the way to, to correct behavior. Uh, so that, that, that aspect does, doesn't click with me at all. I think that there are very, very, very few situations where it's all, where like spanking is an appropriate response to like correcting behavior in kids. And I think it's only when they're, they're doing something, their life is actually at risk. Like your kid's about to like run out into the middle of the street or a highway or something. <laughs> I just don't think that uh, I just don't think any of the any of the studies, any of the research supports like hitting your kids as an effective like parenting teaching method anymore. Because like it, it is it has been a debate. I do. I'm in, interested in you going. You want to hit your kids? What do you think? Hitting your kids is cool. No, I don't think hitting your kids is cool. You but there is really a limit. There is a, me. <laughs> yeah. You don't even notice what you do. You were you you were saying, is it okay to discipline your kids? And you're saying, and I already know you guys are gonna say, oh, it's a, you shouldn't hit your kids. No, because that's you gonna know? be like the first thing you guys are gonna say, like, oh no, you shouldn't hit them. I do think that at some point, when if they're old enough, do you think beating like, your kids is cool? That's not beating. I see. Damn, you just, just love flipping that shit, spanking them, spanking them. Spank your kid's shit out like of ten him. years old or nine years old, and he's wilding the fuck out. You telling him to that's, calm the fuck down? That's weird. Some people spank their significant others. Right? I wouldn't want to do that to a child. Yeah, spanking is for the bedroom only, consensually. Facts. Now we're talking about sex. This is amazing. So, what do you think? <laughs> Save me here. You think disciplining another your significant other's kid is a a, a, a move that you would do, or? You say, no, it's not my kid. I would never put my hands on anybody else's uh, child ever. ever and it doesn't ever, have to ever. be. It doesn't have to be spanking. It could be just talking to them sternly. Mm, even that. That's even crazy. that. Um, I, I think you need full sign off from this yeah. person, whether it's your partner, whether it's your your sisters, your your kids or your nieces, your nephews. I think you need full sign off so to you, have permission to to uh, to discipline. You get with a chick nieces and you raise and nephews, this kid. Nieces and nephews, I think you could take a little bit, little bit more liberty helping raise and helping shape and mold. You know what I mean? Because I don't know if you guys, I mean, I guess you would have to talk to it about your brother and sister, like a, hey, you know, um, or they'll correct you if they see something that they don't like. So, uh, but I, I would say in no case or form, should you be 
objecting yourself like that on a child like yelling screaming i think and especially without full consent because that 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 yes could you that yes you can can quickly turn into a no you can't or how the fuck dare you <laughs> yeah it's very that line is so thin so that's a conversation and, for you and your partner because if you if you with your partner and you guy and you're raising her kid you know, from a young age, one or two years old to 18, 17 or whatever the fuck. If they're living under your house, under your rules and you're paying, and you're feeding them and you're providing for them as a step. You both are, right? Yeah, both together. Okay. As a well, step parent. Well, 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 well let, let's 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 flip it, Tony. Uh, you you're dating someone, you they're they're watching Luca for you while you run to the store, you come back and they are spa- they have Luca bent over their knee and they're spanking him. What uh what is your take is, is, on that gonna be? Is that my partner though? You're just saying I just yes. With- yes. 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 I would ask him first. I would ask her. I would be like, "Why are you spanking him? What he do?" That's my first. What? 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 What degree that you had to reach? It would be a way more kid. skeptical line of questioning than if that was her kid, for sure. Undeniably. Yeah, you would ask more questions like why. Yeah, for sure. I'm saying though, but if you're raising this kid together, right? Let's say Luca's 12, 15 years old now, and I've been mm-hmm. with this with this chick for that amount of time, like eight years. And he and she and she's disciplining him. To a certain extent, I'll be like, okay, let it play out. He fucked up. I'm, you know, like I, I would, I would imagine in that time frame, you would have had a conversation about like the boundaries that are acceptable with how she can treat your child, though. Before that point, I just think yeah. a kid shouldn't disrespect the adult. Like if there's rules and shit in the household, and you guys are both agreeing, like, yo, you can't. You can't bring weed into the house. You can't bring girls over. You can't bring guys over too late. And they're breaking these rules. They don't pay no bills. Fuck out of here. You got to follow the rules. It's very simple and plain. If not, then there's going right. to be consequences. Let me, let me to give it. you my take because I actually never, I never, I never said my opinion because I actually mostly align with 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 one of the things that Doe said. So for one, I, yeah, let's assume putting your hands on kids is a totally acceptable form of punishment, real quick, right? Okay. Because we grew up with a ton of people, and I know plenty of people that still hit their kids, like, mm-hmm. and that shit's normal. Um, don't don't hit your stepchildren. Just don't do it at all. Yeah. You're wrong every single time you do this. I don't. It doesn't matter how long you could have hooked up with this chick the day she got pregnant. This is your fucking kid in every every <laughs> sense of the word. All right. Don't don't touch that kid. Because in every single relationship that I've seen that involved the step parent, at some point it gets thrown into the other parent's face that this ain't their kid. Like that gets used every single relationship I've ever seen. I've seen that. This think that's ain't your right kid. though. It it, it doesn't matter. Right it's not their that? kid. It's not their kid. Yeah. So, there, so is, of course so it's that, right. that dude should not provide for that kid. That dude shouldn't feed that kid. That dude shouldn't buy clothes for that kid. That dude shouldn't house that kid then. That dude should do whatever is in the bounds of that relationship. And if part of that relationship is this ain't your kid, don't put hands on my kid, then that's one of the stipulations. Just like don't cheat on me is one of the rules. Just, all those things. So if if buying clothes is a normal part of being in that relationship, then sure, they could buy clothes. It doesn't mean that as soon as I do one thing for you, that I could just kick your I could do everything. All the good, all the bad. It comes, it comes with like I don't think that's right. Okay, but. so you take away the spanking part. Because I, I do I do nice things for my nieces and nephews. I'll never put my hands on my niece and nephew. My aunt hit me one time and I went I went off on her, telling her, You ain't my fucking mom, blah blah. I went off on her and I was like eight years old. I was not having nobody Damn. putting their hands I, on me. I was I yeah. was gonna say I was actually gonna say to Tony's to Tony's little uh, uh statement he was making up there. I think sometimes kids do need to call out the parents in their life, and I think kids should be able to uh to call them out whenever they feel like they're making a decision that they don't agree with and my mom whipped my ass for going off on my aunt like that but my aunt never put her hands on me again you know what i'm saying so like because i found that wrong i was like as much as i love my aunt, one of the best people the literally nobody in my family loves anybody more than the way that my aunt loves everybody in my family that's just a fact but i just don't want like you know I don't, for one, I don't want nobody putting their hands on me. You know, my parents hitting me when I was a kid is like, all right, this is how we grew up. This is normal, blah, blah, blah. Anybody else putting their hands on me and I got to defend myself. And then and then it gets murky. It's like, it's a family member. I can't hit this person back. So I just got to take this, but I don't think it's right. You know what I'm saying? 
Um, so like, you know, that was the, the position I was in. Yeah. So like, you know, I don't think that me get buying gifts for my nieces and nephews mean that I could kick their ass now. No. Yeah. And I don't think it should mean the same thing for, for, for your stepchildren. But, but if, but if she's asking you to help to step in. Right. And it doesn't have to be an ass beating. Take away she, the ass beating. She, she, she said, don't. she said he, she's got to set boundaries though. And you got to respect whatever those boundaries right. of that conversation are. Because I, I've, da- I've dated, uh, women with don't kids that have, that have told me that, that they've left me, you know, watching the kids. And I've I've done whatever their method of of uh, of, of corrective behavior is, and it, it's been like you can put them in timeout. Uh, if if he's throwing stuff across the, the room, you can take it from from him and tell him, hey, we don't throw stuff in this household. Just because your mom's not here doesn't mean you can start throwing stuff in the household. But would absolutely never put hands on someone else's kid. Mind you, I'm not hating somebody else's kid. I'm saying, to take the spanking he- part away. The talking to oh wait but like, I, i'm saying let's yelling. include the spanking real quick like because i'm saying let's say spanking is totally normal you could hit your kids and all of that okay like just don't do it and even you said even if the person asks you to step in if that person steps in is like yo if my kid and and trust me i watch my cousin's kids from time to time they tell me yo if my daughter spazzes out yo you, hit her i don't care do it I won't yeah, do it. Right. I'm not yeah. doing it. They'll say that. Right. I feel like it's a discrepancy waiting to happen. It's not. Yeah. I'm not doing it. I appreciate that I have the green light to discipline as I see fit. I don't think fit hitting is as I see fit because I think not only a even if it's totally acceptable, I think it's bad to do. But b even when they say it's totally acceptable, it's not. There's oh, it's a discrepancy. It, like I swear, I, I think if I hit my cousin's kid, I think my cousin will be like, yo. You sure you need to go that far? Because I wouldn't have went that far for this. It's like, all right, all right, my bad. Don't give me the green light because I thought I had. A, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's it's a, it's a discrep. It's a discrep. Um, yeah. How do you feel about even yelling and screaming at kids? You don't even got to be I, yelling. I, like, I don't, I don't, I don't yell in general. I don't know the last time in my life that I actually ever even yelled at someone, much less a kid. You do more. I, I, you do more texting yelling <laughs> than yelling. <laughs> Now, Mattel does like that very disappointed talk that a parent would do that makes you feel bad. Same. Um, I agree. He does. I'm, I'm not upset. I'm, I'm I'm just disappointed. I thought we were better than this. But no. Um, <laughs> you guys would. Yeah, don't. don't Yelling, it would depend. Like, is it abusive? Like, no, like, not abusive. Are you saying, like, you're so stupid. You always do shit like blah, blah. It's like you're probably crossing the line, even though you got the green light for this. Yelling is an abuse. But I think there's circumstances like you know, I've seen p- kids fuck up repeatedly. I mean, crash a car three times in a row. Like you're going to have some words like I got to deal with your problems. Like this sucks. Like mm-hmm. um, I'm saying start yeah, talking. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to have some words. If I'm the person that has to deal with this, I'm going to have words. And that's usually exactly. my rule. When I watch my nieces and nephews, I don't care how their parents discipline. Their parents could be the most relaxed people in the world. If you're coming into my house, you're not going to put your feet on my couch. You're not going to run around the house screaming at the top of your lungs. I'm going to have some rules. And if you follow my rules, we're going to have the most fun in the world. I promise you. I'm going to let you do whatever you want to do. As long as you're not hitting people and disrespecting and dirtying up the place, you can watch TV. You could play games. You could do what, go outside and play. Do whatever the fuck you want. As soon as you start fucking up, the, the pooch is gonna come down with that <laughs> stick, rain. all right? Tears. The metaphorical the stick, not oh. a real stick. Not a real stick. The, the the stick of the law. Right? Think of the um. stick hits you. I didn't hit you. The stick hits you. <laughs> <laughs> the stick fell, and it just it happened to spank you right when you did the wrong thing. Oh my um, god! My mom, uh, t- my mom has this story that she's told me before, where she grew up in a household where they were not hit, but she went and stayed with some family members that were very much like physical discipline kind of family members. So she she did something where her Thea got mad at her and her Thea told her to go. Uh, she took her side and she was like, hey, she's like, go outside and get me a stick. And my mom, not knowing what the hell this meant, she went and she found this perfect, like thick, nice branch and she brought, brought it in and my Thea beat the shit out of her. Right. And then my cousins were telling my mom later on, they're like, you fucked up. They're like, why did you go and get a big stick like that? We get the smallest one we can find whenever she tells us to do that. Yep. But my poor mom had her little heart broken by uh, by one of her family members because they beat her with a stick. In That's crazy. Down South Florida, it was what they call switches, and yep. they take the the wiring and shit like that, like from appliances. I mean, we Damn. all got our ass beat growing up, right? 
I was, I was, I was, I wasn't really hit. My, I had some extended family members that, that hit me a few times. My grandpa used to used to hit me. I got so my I ass was, beat. Like I was I spanked. Up. I was slapped a few times. That slap is the word. I, I, w- I wasn't, I wasn't hit by family members after about like age ten or so because I, I was, uh, I, I I've got problems with authority. I don't know if y'all have noticed this or not. <laughs> <laughs> but, my mom hasn't hit me since I was like 11 years old. The I, got last the time be- I, I got the belt. I got the belt. But, bro, I got hit with I don't. I, I wouldn't. I, at least for me, I think the hitting goes beyond what's acceptable in American society today. But I don't feel like I was abused. I don't either. Yeah. Yeah. I don't I feel like I was like, abused nobody either. was like hitting me for no reason or punching yeah. me in my face or or like injuring me in any way. Like nah. Like, and I got my ass beat with a crocodile belt, an extension cord, a wire hanger, fucking spatula, chancletas. Bro, I got my ass beat a lot. Like, because I was a bad kid. I do a lot of dumb shit growing up. I did a lot of dumb shit. I deserved to get spanked. So, and I don't think my parents abused me. Would the lessons have stuck more if they had used an alternate method, though? Because it sounds like the hitting you with things one method wasn't it was really the working first thing they to, fix your, to fix your behavior. No, no, it fixed me. Nah, he's, I, saying, he's, saying, he's saying that could they have disciplined you in a different way that would have been more effective? Nah, probably not. I, I think so you, once, think, you think the kid that was so addicted to playing video games, like you were back in the day, you think that hitting you got you to behave more easily than if your parents were just like... All right, I'm packaging up your N64, your PS2. Like, you're just not going to play for this many days. Until you get like, your shit together, you get your grades up, whatever they, the case may be. They've done that, too, but they they uh, they gave in. They don't though. stick to it. Yeah. yeah, yeah, they, yeah that's the that, problem, that's too. Important. When when you're when, That's another problem, too. Like, if you and your, your significant other say, all right, this is the plan, and they don't stick with the plan, at what point do you be like, yo, I just give up? I give up, bro. Well, like, well, I mean, that, that's divorced. that's that's why that's why people keep going back to hitting because it's easy. It's a it's a short term solution. You can hit and you can stop immediate behavior. But from what I understand, hitting is does isn't very effective at stopping long term behavior. It just stops the situation as it is as it exists at that moment. Yeah, nice. and I'm in the belief that some people think that you shouldn't fear your parents. I feel like. There's a balance of love and fear that keeps children in check. Yeah. Like they shouldn't get they you shouldn't have fear of like like you know you're fucking quivering in a corner afraid of a situation, but like a child should know that you are the disciplinary in the house that your word is the word to be like it's the law of the house is like I am rules. the law. I am the I am no the one's law. above the law. Not <laughs> <laughs> fucking judge dread out of nowhere. Um <laughs> fucking sylvester stallone what a classic that movie's horrible <laughs> um like i think there there's something to that effect that that makes um that dynamic work because the dynamic ain't equal it's a child like at the end of the day you're gonna force this kid to do something whether they want to do it or not you gotta you got to like yeah. you have to go to school you have to wear clothes no, you can't go to school with the mini skirt with your ass hanging out. Like you're gonna put, you're gonna be imposing these rules, and and I I think there's a balance of love and respect. I don't think love gets you all the way there. I don't think fear gets you all the way there, and I, I think there needs to be a little a little mix of both. It's funny you say Definitely that. Definitely think there's a balance because I see it in Luca now. Like I be I talk to him on the phone sometimes, Facetime, and obviously his mother is telling him. Don't do that. Don't do that. He's not really listening. She has to go and grab him and do it. But when, like, when I'm here, I'm like, yo, Luca, put that down. He'll look at me and put it down. Like, it's and I, and I, and I tell her, I was like, yo, like, he doesn't do that shit. It's just, and it's like, maybe it's because, like, he's, like, like, he sensed me as, like, okay, he tells me no. One or two things is gonna happen. You know what I'm saying? Like I'm gonna get in time out, or I'm gonna get a little spanky, or or he's gonna be really, really upset. And it's just like sometimes, bro. Like Pucho, one day I'm telling you, it might, it, it, you might catch yourself spanking your son one day. You might. He's gonna get to an age where that. I'm, bueno. He's gonna get to an age, and I think the spanking you That's might fine. have to My do that shit. My daughter's older than your kid, and I haven't hit her a single time. Oh no, she just, she actually listens too, though. 
Boys, what? I think boys is a My little different. My daughter is the, the, one of the most unruly people on planet Earth. Okay? No. I'll tell you right now. Really? Oh my god! <laughs> she's, hey, she's changed. To Last get time her I out seen the her... door to just get her to put on clothes could take twenty minutes because she just really? doesn't want to do it. Yeah, it's, it's horrible. She changed a lot because I know she was a little. She was innocent listening, sits down. Now they can't, you can't even get her to put clothes on. That's no, crazy. she no. It, it, she my daughter's moody. So when the when the mood strikes, she's like. Oh, it's over. I'm, I am a fucking sovereign citizen. <laughs> Your rules do not <laughs> have any, hold any water over me, okay? <laughs> like, you know what I'm saying? Then she acts just like that. She'll throw herself on the floor, throw a tantrum, all that type of shit. And how you navigate that tantrum is important. Like, we've done the let her sit there kicking and crying until she gets over it. Didn't work really well. We've done the super discipline and blah, blah and there's a balance like you need to be strong in what they're allowed to do and what they're not allowed to do and follow through on that and then when they're very upset kids can't control their emotions you gotta let be, them do it you got no no no, no don't let them no. do it i'm saying like you need to get down to their level talk to them very kindly get them to relax and and just explain to them like look we're not gonna do this we could do other things with this thing we're not gonna do and and to me, that's a balance of like, you know, I'm putting my foot down, but I'm still showing you like I'm here for you. I want you to have a good time. But no, you're not going to go to bed with the necklace that could choke you to death. It's not going to happen. Like, And that's that was the tantrum last night to go to bed. She wanted this fucking necklace. I'm like, you might choke and die with that thing in your bed. Like, nah, we're not doing that. That's like, crazy. Um, so yeah, all right, or, so Agent, I need. I want you to read me six books tonight. Nah, you're getting three. We're not <laughs> reading six books. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like. <laughs> yeah, those are the fights. But so, no, nah, I'm not a- going to find myself spanking my kids. So, so then age only, plays only a situation I ever put my hands on my kids if 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 my kids are old enough and strong enough where them putting hands on people is actually going to harm them. Like if I walk in the room and my son is like wailing on my wife, I'm throwing fucking hands. Like I'm sorry. Yeah, well, that'll be B. You failed that. I'm some just point giving you a scenario. The, yeah, I can't yeah, yeah. say never, but I'm saying that's the situation. If I walk in and my son is beating the shit out of my daughter, like yeah, oh, I'm yeah. putting hands. Like or vice versa. Like yo, mm-hmm. I'm throwing hands. I'm good. I'm 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 gonna restrain the situation any right. Real quick. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the kids but I'm not gonna like under normal circumstances. Yeah. Oh, this kid broke a window or this. I'm gonna. Ah! The idea that you fucking <laughs> charge in so angry that you gotta beat the shit out of your kid, it just seems nuts to me. Like, you like, like, ah, you're just getting the anger out of you. It's what are like some your things kid, that your, your kid gets in a fight at school and you're like, I will teach you to not get in a fight by kicking your ass right now? My fighting. mother did that to me. No. I, I beat a kid's ass in school and my mom took me home and beat my ass. <laughs> I was like, fuck. The guy attacked me. <laughs> but I'm the bad guy, whatever. So, you know. Yeah. <laughs> Shout out to the moms who beat their kids' ass for beating the kid up. Yep. <laughs> Yo, I know there was a few times where me and my brother really deserved it. Like, we were restaurants. You couldn't take us out to restaurants until we were like six or seven. Y'all were that we bad? Were really bad, bro. Even at church. Oh. Boy, we knew what was up when when we would get home. My mom would put Kenny G on and then sit in the room, and she said, "Papo, come here, sit down. <laughs> I need to G, talk uh. to you." Yeah, and I used to get my ass whooped to Kenny G songs. <laughs> <laughs> that is like the yes. fucking the biggest oxymoron I've ever heard. <laughs> yeah, yeah. What, what's the needed... Kenny G genre called? It's like. It's soft like, jazz. It's like it's, it's soft jazz, easy jazz. It's like it's the most <laughs> mellow, nicest music you could put on. They Tony, I'm just I gotta, sitting there charging up the spankings that are coming. It's on the sexy sax shit. Yeah. yeah. He can't walk into a spot to this day without getting a little fear in his eyes. <laughs> Steps into an elevator. He's fucking looking all over. <laughs> Is that Kenny G? <laughs> what were you going to say about that? Oh, my bad. <laughs> Did you? Uh, here's something that I, that I had, had knew and then I forgot and then I found out again this week. Do you know what the uh, the music genre in Star Wars is called? You know, like the Mos Eisley band? That little, like, the da 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 You yeah. know what that genre of music is called in the Star Wars universe? What? It's called jizz. <laughs> no way. 
It's called jizz. jizz. They, those guys are jizz musicians. <laughs> That's hilarious. That's horrible. Right? Who the fuck came up with <laughs> That's that? so bad. They do all look like their heads are or ball sacks. Jizz. <laughs> Tight <laughs> ball jizz. sacks. All right? Not my fucking saggy sack, but like, you know. They did the procedure where they <laughs> grab all the excess skin and make your ball sack look like a brain. Well, they get rid of all the all the wrinkles the, on the it. Excess. All the wrinkles. You got a smooth looking like two of my heads right there under your cock right there. <laughs> Man, that's a thumbnail right there, but there's no there's no <laughs> way YouTube will let me put that thumbnail up. <laughs> you can Got put it. my head two times in like a cucumber. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. But ladies and gentlemen, if you stuck with us throughout this entirety of this beautiful episode, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, share, hit the bell. Please hit that comment. Subscribe. We're on Discord. <laughs> Join our Discord server. We could talk all police auditing, solving citizens, communist shit, capitalist shit, whatever you want to talk about. We're there. Chat us up. We'll gladly accept Frank W. and Mr. E, man. Jump in the Discord, man. We could talk more in there and laugh about it. Even the guy who called this fat fucks. Oh, yeah. The fat, yeah it's, yo, Welcome, go, come. go fuck yourself, too, buddy. The, the, guy, these fat the guy who called the several people who called Mateo G.R. Smith. Come on. We need <laughs> shit. <laughs> Forgot people about that. People that call this fat fucks. <laughs> come on. I find it funny. I don't, actually don't give a damn about what you guys say. <laughs> Just comment on my videos. Make sure you like them before you call me a fat fuck. And, you know, we're, we're good. It's a good trade-off. And as always, people, go one up yourself. Peace.